in Act 1, Section 2 of A Doll's House, Christine, an old friend whom Nora hasn't seen for a decade, arrives for a visit. Christine and Nora catch up, but eventually, a humble and kind Christine asks Nora to use her influence to help her procure a position at the bank where Torvald is now a manager. As their conversation continues, Nora reveals to Christine that she has a secret. Act 1, Section 2 reveals Nora's past, her confused internal state, and her motivations. The complexities and contradictions of the scene are the hallmarks of it. Nora says she knows she should have written to Christine when her friend's husband died, but she didn't. Nora knows she should let Christine, who's been through a difficult time, speak, while Nora actively listens. Yet, she doesn't do that either. Nora lies about where money for her trip to Italy came from, thinking it wise to keep it a secret, yet she reveals it anyway. It came from her dad. The light and happy veneer of Nora from the previous scene peels away in this section, exposing the character's vanity and manipulative disposition. Several times during the conversation with Christine, Nora comments on her own attractiveness. Toying with Christine about where she got the money for the Italy trip, she says, Perhaps I got it from some other admirers, when anyone is as attractive as I am. When talking about how hard she had to work to buy the simplest and cheapest things, Nora boasts, thank heaven any clothes look well on me. Nora's manipulation shows up in the teasing, bit-by-bit -bit approach she takes to reveal her secret circumstances. The height of Nora's tendency to manipulate comes through most clearly when she explains that she will tell Torvald about the loan when she's no longer attractive. And then it may be a good thing to have something in reserve. Blissful Nora implies she could use this as leverage someday over her husband, who audiences have already seen hinted at as being, to put it mildly, controlling. But while this section reveals Nora's negative character traits, it also clarifies the core reason for her happiness, which will eventually be shattered. Her playfulness and joy are sincere in the beginning of the play, but things will slowly build to an explosive conclusion of critical, controversial self-realization.